Hello everybody, welcome to the third part of my list adapter tutorial. Uh, in, the last, in the last part I made the view list contents class and what else did I make? I think I made yeah, view, the view contents layout and the list adapter view. So in this tutorial I'm going to make the user class and I'm going to make this three column list adapter class and that'll be it. So to start off we're going to make the user class which should be pretty quick here. So it's gonna take it's gonna have three parameters. There we go. Oops. Okay. And actually, I can just import the getter and setter method. So, go to generate. Uh, I don't actually need the setters. Let's just set, use the getters. Throw all those guys in there. And that should be it for this class. So, we can go ahead and close our user class. And now we're going to make our three column, our three column list adapter. And this is what I think is the hardest part. So three column list adapter. That was pretty obvious why I named it a three column list adapter. So we have three columns. And it's gonna be uh, it's gonna have a user type. So we're gonna use a layout inflator. Oops, let's do a capital. So if you don't really understand what I'm doing here too, don't just just this is kind of like a this is a very general thing to make a uh, list adapter. So if you don't understand it, just copy it for now, straight up copy it, and uh, in time you'll you'll understand. I wouldn't waste time trying to because it, it, one day it's just gonna make sense to you. So you you can you can use your time now and and. Uh, figure it out but um, I mean my suggestion would just be copy this thing and move on and learn other stuff okay like you could just google how to make a list adapter and uh, something something's gonna pop, pop up that you can use or just watch my tutorial video or make an app where you use a list adapter and reference that every time So 
if user does not equal null. So if if you were using numbers here and not strings, because my my user class is all strings, if uh, if you were using numbers, you can't pass null here. You have to pass. Uh, would you use? I guess you probably convert it to a string and make sure that the length isn't zero. But because we're using a string, you can just use a null here. Okay, and then do the same thing for last name. Set the text, and we use user dot get first name, which is our get method that we made in our user class. And we're going to do this two more times. Oops. Last name and last name. get last name, which you probably guessed. And save food. Get. I think that's it. Oh, it's red. Oh, it's because I didn't uh, return. Oh, no, not there. There. Messed up here. Whoops. This has got to be last name and fave food. Whoops, not fave name. Fave food. Alright. There we go. So click on view, you can see the first name, last name, and the favorite food. And we'll show something else in there. I don't know. Shelly Quagmire. Her favorite food is toast. And you can see it gets appended. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. I know that list adapters were definitely a confusing thing for me. And being able to make lists with multiple items in the same row is definitely a handy thing to be able to do. So if you if you like the video, like the video, don't forget to show your support and subscribe if it was helpful. And thanks for watching.